in which many people don't know that Brother Dick Gregory added a lot of the lyrics to that song as he was working with uh, Okoyono, you know, Oko, Yo, Okoyono, John Lennon's wife. <laughs> my tongue got in front of my eye tooth and I couldn't see a word I was saying. But he was working with John and, and his wonderful wife. And he started saying, you know, imagine. And he started saying these lyrics and John said, let me write that down. Anyway, some of what Dick Gregory was teaching became a part of that beautiful song. And it's more to this story, but that's not why we're here. I want to take you through a meditative process now, dealing with those four points that I brought up. I would ask you to gently close your eyes, put your hands in your lap. And today, let's have the hands facing upward as a sign of joyful devotional receptivity. Let's touch the thumb and the forefinger as a sign of uh, transcending ego perception. Take a deep breath and bring your shoulders to your ears. Squeeze everything and release. Just tap at the space between the eyebrows as an indication that you can see without physical eyes and you can hear without physical ears. That you can see and hear with pure consciousness. Put a slight smile on your face. And get a real sense that right where you are is love. That you are indeed surrounded by a divine loving presence that is love itself. Perhaps to assist you, you can think of a moment in your life where you were touched by unconditional love. That is the love of God operating in the human heart, as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. would describe it. The love without condition, the love without agenda, the love not based on merit or demerit, just the total givingness of the life of God is love, no withhold. You may want to think about someone in your life, like a grandparent or a teacher or someone that got you, someone that saw you and didn't want anything from you. They just knew who you were and you felt the love unconditional flow through you. Become aware of this love this memory, strike the mystic chord of memory and feel the love. When you hear me clap my hand, multiply this love effect by 10. Take a breath and let it magnify tenfold. When you hear me clap my hand, Magnify the feeling tone of divine love times 50. Breathe in. Magnify times 50. Be surrounded by love. When you hear the clap of my hand, magnify it exponentially by 100. Breathe in. Magnify by 100. As Mother Mary said, my soul doth magnify the Lord. We're magnifying the Lord's love. The great God of the universe, love. So in this feeling tone of love, we feel safe and secure. We feel loved. We move to domain number one. Localizing the cosmic celebration. Think of a moment in your life in which you entered into a moment of celebration and you really enjoyed it. It may have been your birthday party or an anniversary, the birth of a child, 
or you may have you may have caught the natural celebration that occurs when you walk through a forest and you feel the trees bending to your divinity. Just feel into the celebration that's happening throughout all the star systems, the oceans, the ground upon which we're walking. It's holy. The celebration that has happened humanly. Just allow these configurations of celebrations to augment your awareness so that with every breath that you're taking, you are amplifying the feeling tone of celebration. Not mere partying, but the celebrating of life itself, celebrating that you exist at all, celebrating that you, like all of nature, get to participate in the realm of the divine, activate this cosmic celebration within you and let your face smile. When your face smiles, you're adding face value to your countenance. Oh, feel it. Feel the tingling of the body temple. It's in full on celebration. The bottom of your feet, your ankles, your knees, your thigh, your hamstrings, your glute, your stomach, your pelvic area. Your heart is in celebration. Your lungs, your pancreas, your intestines, your thyroid, your throat, your chin, your face, your eyes, the top of your head, the back of your head, your nose, your dental cavity, your back, your spine. Oh, from the base of the spine to the top of your head, feel the celebration going on that you are alive and that God energy is pulsing through you. We are localizing the cosmic celebration and we are seeking to sustain and stabilize any insights into reality that may occur. Now we enter into the feeling tone of a whole soul devotion. If you have ever been devoted to anything, an artist is sometimes devoted to their craft and to the falling in love with their instrument until the instrument moves from making sounds to making music. You may have become devoted to your mate, your friend, until their happiness is as important to you as your own happiness. Feel the frequency of devotion. And let us become whole soul devoted to the presence that is never an absence, might be invisible to the sensorium, the five senses, but we see it with our consciousness and become so devoted to being an instrument of the divine, whole soul devotion, becoming magnified with every breath that we take. Say to yourself or say out loud, I am devoted to the presence of God. The God of my understanding, which is life itself. Say to yourself or out loud, I love God. I love life. I love beauty. I love excellence. I love intelligence. I love love. Say to yourself, I love loving. 
Loving to love is a very high state of consciousness that comes through whole soul devotion. And from whole soul devotion, we wrap our awareness around the frequency of the depth of surrender. We enter into the feeling tone of I surrender all. Everything I was, everything I am, everything I hope to be, I surrender the vital nerve center of my consent to excellence. I surrender the vital nerve center of my consent to divine beauty. I surrender the vital nerve center of my consent to pure compassion, kindness, generosity, peace, infinite gratitude. I surrender all. Say it, I surrender all to the loving presence that is never absent. Come with me into this realm. Let go of any fear around surrender. For all you're ever doing is giving up the lesser for the greater. Surrendering to excellence, surrendering to the presence, reorders your priorities so that you bump into the last domain that we spoke about today. Your priority is to discover, uncover, activate your potential. Say out loud, I'm living to activate my potential. Say out loud, I will not waste my potential. And be aware that potential is always bigger than any problem you're facing. That is a sacred mystical law. Potential is bigger than problem. Possibility is bigger than problem. In this meditative moment, you're celebrating, you're embracing and localizing the cosmic celebration, entering into a state of whole soul devotion, living the surrendered life, giving up the lesser for the greater. Discovering, uncovering, and activating your potential is your intention. So that everything bends according to the vibration that you're carrying. The entire universal law bends itself to this feeling that you're now having. And whole new worlds open up. Worlds that are right here that you cannot see right now. Paradigm blindness is keeping you from seeing this infinite possibilities that are right here, but, but no longer. As you're celebrating, localizing the cosmic celebration and entering into whole soul devotion and surrendering the lesser for the greater, entering to the field of excellence and seeking to activate potential, all oh, you're starting to see like you have never seen before. What do you see? Not with your eyes, inside. What do you see with consciousness about the possibilities for your life? does God have in store for you? What do you have to give? 
that share and shine and radiate. Come. You are here on purpose, with a purpose, to reveal the face of divinity, to activate your potential that you may live in the consciousness of bliss and the waves that emerge from you are a blessing and the wake you leave behind you is a blessing. And from this moment on, everything works together for your individual good, for you now know clearly unity. You are one with the one. We're moving from the consciousness of I want to be number one to I want to be one consciously with the one. And here we pray once again, O oh, infinite spirit, Lord God almighty, divine presence, limitless love intelligence, great God of the universe, mother, father God, presence with no absence, how great thou art. How infinite and divine is thy perfect and holy name, thy divine nature in me and as me, in we and as we, how great thou art. It is so good to speak the word from this sense of unity for each and every individual ear today, knowing that their life is divine and that this divine life is so coursing through their spiritual veins that every organ and action and function of their body temple is under the governance of their celestial body that is light and luminosity, health and vitality and vigor and the mental body is clear and the emotional body is pure and the subtle bodies are pristine physical body reflects and reveals the fundamental order of the universe. Oh, I am speaking the word for each of us now that we may be free today. That spiritual liberation, moksha, may reign supreme in our heart and that from this moment on, everything unfolds in the most perfect way and that we become the great ambassadors of peace representing the next stage of human evolution for such a time as this. So that the world is better because of us. That's the mandate that we carry. I give thanks for this. I live in perpetual gratitude and allow it to be so. And so it is, even now, especially now during these unprecedented times, especially now, so be it, so be it. Amen. As you slowly open your eyes, I present to you once again, the Agape International Choir for this powerful festival of lights, of yoga, of unity.